The Communist Communication Commission, I'm sorry, the Federal Communication Commission, the FCC, the government bureaucracy that polices the airwaves and is char in charge of licensing broadcasters, is considering banning the word Redskins, as in Washington Redskins, the name of the NFL team, and may actually fine any broadcaster that allows the name to be spoken over their airwaves in another attempt to bully the NFL team to change their name in the name of political correctness. The Patent and Trademark Office recently canceled the Redskins' trademark, calling it disparaging and offensive, opening the door to countless counterfeiters who may now create fake merchandise and memorabilia, leaving the NFL team no legal recourse. While the FCC considers the name, which has been used for, what, 70 years, to be offensive and racist. They couldn't care less, didn't do a darn thing, when Michael Reagan, son of President Ronald Reagan, said over his nationally syndicated radio show that he would pay somebody to murder me. This happened back in 2008. I'm going to play you the clip, which caused the massive outpouring of support amongst the underground and the resistance. An investigation by the FBI but then the DA wouldn't press charges, and his syndicator uh, didn't do anything, didn't reprimand him, didn't punish him, didn't fire him, and countless complaints filed to the FCC caused nothing to be done. He made the statements in response to me launching Operation Inform the Soldiers, which was a care package drive, sending care packages to the soldiers stationed overseas, to include books about 9-11 being an inside job and documentary DVDs about false flag terrorism. When Michael Reagan heard news of Operation Inform the Soldiers, he had this to say about me, mentioning me specifically by name. You know, take these, excuse me, folks, I'm going to say this. We ought to find the people who are doing this, take them out, and shoot them. Really. Just find the people who are you're sending those letters to our troops to demoralize our troops and do what they're doing. You take them out. They are traitors in this country and shoot them. You have a problem with that? Deal with it. But anybody who would do that doesn't deserve to, to live. You shoot them. You call them traitors. That's what they are. And you shoot them dead. I'll pay for the bullet. Mark Dice, the founder of the resistance which he calls a media watchdog group, says that the U.S. government was responsible for the September 11th terrorist attacks and that the armed forces should know it. People want the facts. The Marines are hungry for the truth. What got them there in Iraq? Why are they risking their lives? And we're going to help them understand that. So he's going to send letters and declassified government documents that he says can prove the government's responsibility for the terrorist attacks that killed nearly 3,000 people. And he's urging others to do the same. Now, Captain Pete Hexen. Well, that's the clip, and he just keeps going on and on and um, reiterates his death threats to me, saying that he would pay for the bullets if somebody were to off me. But that's not enough to cause the FCC to fine his station even a dime. But in the name of political correctness, they are considering fining any broadcast outlet to who airs a Washington Redskins name because they're considering it to be offensive and racist. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos in the playlists and stay tuned. There's more videos. Coming soon.